Hey everybody, want to always bore and never boring. While I usually look for the quickest and laziest way to paint things, I do occasionally tinker with paints that I have in my collection to see what kind of effects I can come up with. So while I needed to paint this wizard for a Dungeons and Dragons campaign that I'm running, I thought I would play around with some of Games Workshop's technical paints, um, Night Haunt Gloom and Hex Wraith. Um, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to start by base coating the cloak of this wizard with uh, the Incubi Darkness, just to give a smooth coat over all of the cloak to get something a little bit like that and then I thought I'd just see what happens when you put Nighthawk Gloom over the top um, Nighthawk Gloom I've usually seen it going over white um, to create sort of an ethereal ghostly effect so I thought well let's see what happens putting it over this dark green And it came out like, almost like a solid colour, um, which is going to serve as a base for the cloak now, because I'm switching to Celestra Grey, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint the raised areas of the cloak, and I'm just blocking in sections of colour, so the deepest recesses um, will remain that um, that single wash, uh, that single coat of Nighthawk Gloom over the Incubi Darkness, and then the raised areas will have these blocked out sections of Celestra Grey. And I'm just being careful, um, sticking to the to the most raised areas. This is quite a nice miniature to paint like this because it's got some really thick folds in the cloak um, which lend themselves very well to, to what I'm doing here. So that's what I've got with all the raised areas blocked out in Celestra Grey looks a bit weird at the moment. Um, I'm now switching to Ulthuran Grey, which is lighter than Celestra Grey, and I'm going to do the same thing again, but um, obviously keeping to the most raised parts, so um, we're getting a gradient of, of greys going up. And you can sort of take this to whatever degree you want, really. You can use multiple coats, multiple different um, shades of grey. I'm just doing the two just doing Celestial Grey and then Ulthur and Grey because, like I already mentioned, I am a lazy painter, so even though I'm tinkering with ideas here, I'm still aiming to get something painted and on the table quickly. So again, I'm just carefully um, blocking out those highest details on the cloak, and if I can get this up to the camera, you should be able to see where there's a, a, a differentiation between the two grades. Um, and now we're going to Nighthawk Gloom again, and I'm going to mix it about 50-50 with Lamian Medium. This is going to make it flow. It's also going to thin it out. And I'm going over the whole cloak now with this uh, this this mix of Nighthawk Gloom to try and make a sort of um, almost ethereal type cape. I'm not entirely sure how successful the end result is. As you can see, I'm literally just slapping it over the, the whole cloak again. And it looks like that. And you can see that I've also um, blocked out the beard in white and the flesh areas with Cadian uh, flesh tone. And now I'm going to retribute to armor. And um, I'm going to paint the brooch. There's a brooch next to uh, next to the beard. And also there is a knife, a dagger, below the beard. I'm going to paint the handle and the bands of the dagger in gold. Like so. Oh, and now I'm switching to fur brown to, to uh, paint the brown areas, which is there is a, a satchel, there is a, a little bundle of scrolls. I've blocked out the scrolls in Ulthur and Grey as well. Um, and I'm also going, obviously going to paint the staff. So that's basically all of the main colours blocked in now. So I'm going to right click flesh shade. And what I'm going to do with this is obviously I'm going to do the, the skin. So I'm going to do the hands, the arms, the face. I'm also going to put it over the beard as well. Just to bring out the... Um, the definition and texture of the beard with the recessed areas of the hair. Again, trying to be 
careful not to not to get the the flesh shade of everything else, and particularly over the cloak that I've basically finished. And then Agrax Earthshade will go over the gold and the brown. Um, and the uh, the scrolls in their little um actually not, not not in the scroll the scroll bag not the scrolls the scrolls got right in flesh shade get something that looks a little bit like that and now I'm going back to Ulthu and Grey what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to dry brush the beard just to bring that back up to uh, more of a more of a white because obviously the Reichland Flesh Shade has, has toned that white down. Um, and then I'm also going to use a fine brush just to pick out the white of the eyebrows and to um, pick back out details on the scrolls in the scroll bundle. And then we go back to Cadian Flesh Tone and I'm going to layer on the highest areas of the flesh. So the hands, the knuckles, the tops of the arms and the nose because this miniature has quite a prominent nose that protrudes from his hood. So all those areas get uh, another another go over with the Cadian flesh tone to brighten them back up again. So we end up with something like that. Then we go to Monster Brown, and we're going to use Monster Brown just to pick out the raised details on the brown areas. So the scroll bundle, the satchel, um, and then I'm also going to dry brush the staff so that the um, the natural wood texture will be picked up by the dry brush, um, and that will. Just add a little bit more definition to those brown areas, like so. And basically, at this stage, the miniature is pretty much done. So um, I'm going to do Astro Granite Texture Paint on the base, being very careful not to uh, get it all over the cloak and things that I've, I've, that I've painted. So just very carefully moving it all the way around the uh, the miniature, like so. Um, uh, but I also wanted to do one more go at something with techni technical paints. So um, I'm using Ulthu and Grey here and I am just stippling the top of the staff. Because what I want to do is I want to make it look like the wizard is channeling some energy into the top of his staff. Um, either to create light or a magic spell of some kind. Um, and now I'm going to use White Scar and I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm going to stipple the end of the staff again, but uh, only the, the very top part of the staff. So. Um, we have a gradient of stippling effects going down the staff. Which will look kind of like that. Looks like he's got nice cream. And now I'm going to use the Hex Wraith Flame, the technical paint, and I'm just going to layer it straight over the, uh, the, the stippled area and running it down onto the brown of the staff. I possibly should have used some Lamian Medium to thin it down. Um, maybe make it give more of a more of a translucent glow but here we have the finished effect so um, the cloak is basically that um, night haunt gloom over over the um, the two tones of gray and then the magic power in the staff is the hex wraith flame over two tones of, of lighter gray lighter colors again but in that, in that case the, the white as well and I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. This was just an experiment, but I think the end result is it's certainly tabletop quality. I'm happy with it. I actually really like the look of the cloak, um, the way that the folds and pleats have come out. Um, and, and it looks a little bit, a little bit floaty and ethereal as well. But anyway, what does everybody else think? And what is everybody else doing with their Night Haunt Gloom and Hex Ray Flame? Let me know in the comments. I mean, other than painting ghosts, of course. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye-bye.